my batteries were low, I should say, then I could just tilt this down. Wow. is a solar panel. I have it right now I just have it set up for daytime mode but I I take the kitchen part down and then I sleep in a hammock. And there's a there's a ring here so I just hang the hammock from corner to corner. And it's tall enough where I can stand up. And then this morning when the sun was, my batteries were low, I should say, then I could just tilt this down. Wow. So I get the angle. Or I can, you can actually tilt it front to back too. It's easier side to side. Roof fan, solar panel. Yeah. Where is it, the white one? So it's just corrugated plastic cardboard, kind of like, mm. but it's made out of plastic instead of wood. Very durable. It's like a lot of the political signs that you see sitting out in people's yards, that's what it's made out of usually. Is it durable for the rain? Yes. Yeah, I've, I've had this almost a year now and I've been in all kinds of weather. I came from Wisconsin where it's, it's the art, um, middle of winter when I left. Yeah, so those are, I have two fans during the summertime then I, there are fans that just pop in there. there right so, now it's just a vent, but there's fans that I stick in there. When it's hot out, you gotta have the ventilation. How can you cut the roof? Yeah. <laughs> How come? So I could stand up inside it. Your yeah. tall guy. <laughs> yep. This is a minivan. But I had this, this set up as a camper before I put the roof in it. I you know, just use it with the hammock. It's a lot nicer to be able to stand up. Here's a diesel heater. Diesel heater. And this here, oh, I think I got a lot. The van looks old. Yeah, it's a 2006. 2006? Same Wisconsin is rust. Everything's rusty in Wisconsin because they use so much salt on the road. That's just normal Wisconsin car. Mm. So here's my diesel heater, and my my refrigerator and cooler. And then this I take down at night. Mm. Then this is a stow and go seat, so there's storage underneath on both sides. Mm. So I just took the seats out and I all look inside. You can go just step on in there. You can yeah, go on in. Me? Wow. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't have this. Here, I'll put this back up so you can stand up all the way. Wow, it's very tall. It's just solar panel and cardboard. It's like it's like origami. <laughs> origami, <laughs> yeah. Could you come inside? Yeah. The, you have so I'm, room. I'm I'm six feet tall and mm -hmm. there's room to spare. I could have made it lower, but I didn't want static electricity and making my hair stand up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this here's uh, like these little fans I got down here. You made two. So I have two USB fans I can just plug in there. So I put, when I'm cooking even now, I put it in there, but it's not mm -hmm. that hot, so I don't leave them on. It's quiet, not the yeah. noisy sound. Oh. So I put two of them, and then I have a screen that goes over this door. Mm -hmm. Just don't have it in now because it, you know, it's not It's warm. the same thing, right? Yeah. Yep. See, mm -hmm. see this window's got screens on it, so does that one. Mm -hmm. Bathroom over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bathroom. Mm -hmm. Charge controller, inverter. I have a 24 volt lithium mm -hmm. iron phosphate battery. It's a 24 volt, 30 amp hour. Mm -hmm. So that's it. It's the equivalent of. About a hundred amp hour lead acid battery, because yeah. you can use all of the power. So there's, there's plenty. And then how much what this panel? Two hundred and forty-five. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, it's big. So even in Wisconsin in the winter without tilting, if I'm just using the heater, that that keeps my battery charged. But now I added the refrigerator for coming down on this trip. 
Mm -hmm. Between the two of them, I had to tilt the panel to get it up. Where's this one? That's a cooler. It's a homemade freezer. So I take, I just make ice in here and switch it back and forth. So this, this is just a super mm -hmm. insulated homemade cooler. So you can see how thick the insulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it'll hold ice for like a week. So, <laughs> so wow, works good. So cool. So nice. You have carpet also. Yeah. You have everything. Everything I need. When you sleep, how can you sleep? Could you demonstrate just, for me? So how many set up? It's a hammock. Yeah. I can't. I had to take the table down and set it up. Right now, because it's winter, I have this extra quilt underneath to keep me warm. Mm. But it's very comfortable. I've been sleeping in this hammock for 10 years, so... For 10 years, you sleep in a yeah, hammock? I, yeah. I broke my back like 10 years ago, and mm. then I started sleeping in a hammock because it was easier on my back than a regular bed. You sleep from angle to angle, so you're pretty flat. Uh. But you don't get any pressure points, so it's, mm. it's better for me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Not necessarily for everybody. It's a long, big hammer. Yeah. Wow. yeah. You are not sleeping on the... I know, I don't sleep on the floor at all. No. Is it better? Much better than the, for me. Wow. I, I recommend it for anybody that has back problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My back is, isn't much of a problem anymore. Like, I can sleep in a regular bed now because I'm healed up, but... Mm. I still find it better, <laughs> so I continue to sleep in it. And it, like with a the minivan, there's not really room. If I had a full uh, permanent bed in here, I wouldn't have all this room for walking around and cooking. And it's when I, it's, it only takes a minute, less mm. than a minute to put it away, and then I still have all this room mm. where a mattress would be kind of hard to roll up and get out of the way. <laughs> but, yeah, I own a house, and I'm married, and I have children. My children are all grown up. When I'm at home, I still sleep in my van. Why? Because of the hammock. <laughs> <laughs> Just set up hammock in your room, no in the room, house. There's no room in the house for my hammock. So. <laughs> my wife's stuff kind of took over all the space. <laughs> anyway, very nice. Wow. Inventive, <laughs> huh? When you're driving, you pull down. Yeah, just pull it down, the... and these go in that edge. And I just mm. ratchet it down front and back. May I ask how much money you put? Everything? Everything? Um, yeah. I think it's less than 600. 600? Because the solar, solar panel is expensive. Solar panel I got for $45. 45? Yeah, it's a used solar panel. Pretty and cheap. Yeah. There's uh, places out of Phoenix. Mm. They buy out like solar farms and then they sell mm. them as used. So they're, they're, uh, they have a lot of them there. Then why you spend a lot of money? $600. Uh, mostly for the the charge controller, battery, and you know. Thing. Yeah, my name is Dan, and my YouTube channel is Far Beyond Ordinary. Um, I've had that channel for a long time. I have 58,000 subscribers, and I used to make full-time living off it. 58,000 subscribers. Wow, it's big. Okay, thank you very much for showing me this very nice setup. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's all talk sometimes, so he could be just saying that, that like he'd be a nice, you know, so he's like, could you just give me a second time?